to explain you how to make this contact us slide with animation and uh, its better part is a video that inserted in the slide and animation that is around this video place around this video with different elements. This slide can be used uh, as a business um, card slide where we put where we usually put the address, the web address, the email and phone of the client. But when we talk about the company that user online business and uh, freelancers like programmers or designers they have contact us forms that we can use instead of other contact information and the purpose of the slide show people where they can go and fill in the contact form so that the company can contact them. This is another example of freelancers website. It's my website with contact form. It's not the only one. Here you can make it pop up by clicking on the icon with the mail. Let's start and see what we should prepare before making actually making the slide and the animation. I will close the animation pane for now and set on slideshow. So we have a task challenge that I called to make a wow slide contact us and your sources for the work is a PowerPoint 2016 and Video Reductor Camtasia Studio or any other that will help you to shot the screen when you will go to the website to show the contact form. Let's prepare everything for making this slide. We need images and icons first. At my slide I used a monitor images PNG. It has a transparent screen. I will show you it later. Next is a hand. It's also PNG, so everything here is transparent. The icon with an envelope for email and the pen. Next we need a text. Text boxes. Contact us, fill in the contact form at our website and we'll mail you a sub and the website, the web address of the website for which you make this slide. This they are all the separate text boxes. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 text boxes. The next and the last we need video. Here I shot video from my website with a contact form. Now let's open the blank slide and place all the elements in order 
and format them as we like. Let's first take a monitor, ungroup it, delete the number and place it in the center. You can align it uh, to the center of the slide by format align center. Then we can put the background color, format background, take an eyedropper, I will take an eyedropper and you can choose any of the colors from the swatches here. I already have a background from my first slide, so I just use the eyedropper to make the same color because I like it and it matches the color scheme of other element. I press the left button of the mouse and go here. If you do not press the left button, you could not go from the work area of the slide. And if you place, if you press it, you can go here and here everywhere on the area of your screen. Next, what we are gonna do is to place a company's logo. Next element is the text. You can copy all of your text boxes and place it first on the slide and then arrange, arrange it. Contact us. I would like to use blackjack font and make it bigger. Align it and lift it up a little. Fill in contact form and at our website these three text boxes we will use to the left of the monitor. I will leave down fill in a little and Distribute them vertically. Distribution is in a format panel align. Distribute vertically. You can see that all text boxes were distributed between the first and the last text box. The same we do for the three text boxes that we place. To the right of the monitor, I can copy the format, double click on this icon and click to release it. The distance between them is equal. We can make it vertical, distribute vertically it too and Align center. All right, the last one text box is a website address. Let's reduce the font size and place it in the center of the slide. You can see this uh, red line, these are uh, smart guidelines and you can uh, right click on the screen and grid and guides. See there are smart guides here, active for me, so the red lines will appear to help me to align elements on the slide. Alright, let's format uh, text. I would like to emphasize the contact form text box, so I choose the color, the brand color from our logo.
maybe a little brighter bright and fill in and at our website will be a blue one okay as you can see they are blue and pink now when you used eyedropper uh, the colors that you picked up will be in the swatches of the recent colors now we have a blue color exactly as here and pink one exactly as the contact form text box we do the same for this group of text boxes i want mail you to make pink and these two text boxes to make blue Net design will be blue as you noticed i also used for all these text boxes is a shadow option so it looks like a 3d object not just flat text the next I want to make a reflection for this monitor. I go to a format, picture effects and reflection. Here it is. I think it should be a little lighter. So I go to the picture styles and go to reflection and change the transparency. You can see if the transparency is closer to zero it almost the same as the original picture I want it to be about 77 percent maybe even higher about 82 I think all right I like it next are the video and the icons Let's take icons. I already copied it for the slide to use them as the resources. And I took them from the Flaticon site. And in particular, I took the apps files. Here they are, you can download from the Flaticon free icons with a common creative license as a PNG files, SVG, EPS and PSD formats. I like apps for PowerPoint as it sees this uh, image as a separate elements that format, that grouped uh, as a shapes, so you can change their fill color and uh, their stroke color let me show you what i uh, what i mean as you can see i already changed the color of the ink here Then I selected the color of the ink, go to the format and you can see that it is not a, an ordinary image, it is a shape, so I can change the shape feel for it. Here. I also can change the shape feel for this one element. Now you can see how it looks like. I would like to change the color to a uh, to a darker one with a more fill colors option. All right. 
You can do the same with this monitor image because it's just a PNG image. See here format, picture border, you can change the picture border but you can't change the elements of this shape because it is not a shape, it's just an image. But here it is a shape, see you can change the shape, the, the color of the shape. Now you see what I mean. Alright, I place, place it the icon with the help of our red smart guidelines. They are not very useful in this case uh, because the grouped image has not equal sides of the transparent background on the sides of the shapes that are grouped. So we placed them manually and now the, there are two elements that are left. It's a hand. It will be under the slide, out of view for now, before we make an animation for it. I should ungroup it to delete the number and place it underneath and make it in the center of the slide. OK. And the last one is the video. We can resize and crop videos in a PowerPoint 2016, which is very useful. You should press and hold shift while resizing it, so it will resize proportionally in the width and height. As you can see, our video will not be shown when we send it back under the screen. But if it is, we always can crop it. And it will not influence the quality of the video. As you can see, it's nothing has changed except the size. I will take it back. Because I don't need to crop it, I just show you if you will need to crop your video uh, on the size by the size of the monitor or smartphone or any image you will place on your slide. Okay, that's done. And now we have to make animation for these elements, including video. Next, go to the animation pane. I will close format background, it, we don't need it anymore. Make it wider, animation pane. And let's plan how we will show the elements on the slide. I think contact us as a header of the slide will be shown first. Let's make it fade. For now I will do animation. Uh, with uh, default settings, this is on mouse click and with a duration, with a default duration. We will actually will not change the duration because uh, it's actually good, but we will change other settings and I will explain uh, what settings and how. Okay, the next after contact us, I think the name of the slide uh, will be shown. And I like float in and effect options float up. That's right. 
The next I think will be great to show the center image of the slide, the monitor and we will use more entrance, entrance effects and pick the selfing. Then let's group icon and first text box, make it group. Alright, and um, make it wipe from left. Then I can copy animation and apply it to a text boxes below. Next, we have a video and I would like to make it appear first before it will play. Let's use more entrance effects and make the split effect great, but vertical out. You can see, you can play form to see how it looks. Okay, great. Next I would like to show the logo. It will appear together with a video. I think a PR is a good effect for it. Okay, next will be our video and you should make it active to click on it by your mouse and go to playback video tools and click automatically. Delete trigger don't need it, we need an auto animation. Okay, next is the hand. Here we should use animation, more motion path, and use, for instance, down line curves okay but use up change the direction then click on the animation path to get the circles the green one and the red one and click on red one you can see the cross uh, the cursor became a cross and Press and hold shift key and drag the hand. Alright, here it appears. You can release the keys and the mouth and then add another animation. Diagonal down right is a perfect option, but as you can see, it should go from where the uh, previous animation were ended. So we take the green circle, hold shift and up it goes and then hold on a red circle of the, of the last animation and go here. The last position of the finger is in um, beneath of the video, beneath of the screen, where the contact us button. Let's see the video once more. It's here. And I think we can um, shift it a little higher. I think it's good. And the last group of elements that will be will appear on the slide are the icon with the email. And I think it should fade in. And the others will be the same. Wipe effect. Okay, now we have 
all the animation that we need and we should uh, uh, make uh, the proper settings for it so it will go one after another let's select all of it and you select all of animation by holding the uh, control key and pressing the left uh, button of the mouse on this element that you want to set. Make it with previous all and then just drag the, um, drag the uh, green uh, elements and uh, blue ones and grey ones to the position that you need. For now, before the video starts, we need all elements appear one after another strictly. Picture can start. Picture, this is our logo can appear a little earlier with the previous animation of the video appearing. The video starts, it starts here. And now we should calculate when the hand will go. It will go when appears the contact form it appears about the ninth second so we put the delay nine this one with previous and after strictly after the previous. Okay, I forgot about the last animation. We want to hand disappear after it showed the form, the contact form, so we just make fade out and make it after the path animation. Make it with previous and make it delay. By the way, we have uh, also option after previous and we can actually use it for all these elements before video starts. But if we use the animation uh, after previous after the video starts, the PowerPoint will wait before uh, will wait until the video ends and then we'll proceed with the animation. We don't need it. We need the animation to be proceeded while the video goes. Therefore we work with uh, the option start with previous and delay. All other text boxes will be will go one after another. Okay, I believe we completed all animation and this slide. Let's ensure ourselves to press the button play all. No, we somehow, somehow we didn't. We didn't make the video appear. I thought I did it. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Let's make it again. Split effect. Vertical out and lift it here. With previous. Show me that I did not calculate uh, the hand uh, 
movement correctly, the delay of hand movement correctly, because the video goes on the delay of 4 and 20 and we should plus it to the video timing. I said that the form appeared on the ninth second, so we need to place uh, the hand movement on the about 13 minutes, 6 seconds. Delay of 13. And we thus should correct everything. So it goes smoothly. Okay, let's play all. Contact us our website screen. The contact form, hands goes. All right, great. I like it. Let's see it on the big screen. I think the hand movement may be a little faster. Let's make it a little faster and thus play with a speed duration. I think one second is good and 125 is good for the final movement. Ok, I corrected the timing and let's see how it looks in the final version. If you don't have uh, opportunity to record the video from the screen of the website, I will show in the next videos how you can use the screenshot, the picture of the website uh, with the, the same contact us for the same contact us slide. Thank you for your time. I hope this video was useful for you and stay tuned to the next week.